I want to do a little magic card game with you. So I'm going to pick. So these are the magic cards for the writing your picture book class. And it's a way for you to begin to generate ideas because the more you get used to coming up with ideas, the more A, you get more ideas and B, your ideas get better along with the technique I'm going to teach you to a lot of writing technique, but I teach artists how to be writers. It's a different way of thinking. It is play-based. Oh, I just dropped some. wonder if they're the ones I should see. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up a card and you are going to type in an idea for making it a main character. So we're just playing a little. So here, okay. So give it a name. First off, give it a name. Humphrey. <laughs> That's good, Julia. Belinda. Good. Bert. You <laughs> got your hilarious. Beanie, Buzzy, Mildred, Beeble. So good. Okay, give this one a name. This is a kitty, pretty kitty. Give it a name. Spin Sierra Victoria Pip Petunia. Yeah. Okay. How are these? Are these friends? Are they siblings? What is their relationship with each other? What is their relationship? Frenemies, Sassafras and Beezus, step siblings, friends, friends, chasing each other, colleagues, <laughs> Mariska. Okay, the cat lives in a pretty house and the bee knocks on the door. They're strangers. Okay, now we need a conflict. Every story needs a conflict. I'm grabbing these randomly. So this is a musical score, a song. What is this about? What is the conflict that these two peeps have? Getting ready for the school talent show. Genius, Christy. Buzzing too loud. Good. The bee hums all the time and Kitty needs her pace in quiet. The bee won't stop humming. That's really cool that you took a natural feature of this and including that. So already you're getting a, a storyline. You have um, a situation. Cat won't stop meowing. So it's very much about the sounds they make. Right away, you have characters. You're going to develop the characters too. Beasley is a pesty friend who wants petal flower, petals, flowers. So you, I can also pick up a card that's the setting, the environment. Okay, the background music in the shop they work in and they don't like. That's very clever. It's very modern, it's very contemporary, and it's very adult, which is, is always cool because kids like kind of to mix both worlds of the adult world and the kid world, but also adults reading it. Lydia says they interrupt each other. That's so great. Okay, and then I could pick up a card that is like, how do you resolve it? You have the arc, you have the problem. We would obviously develop the problem more. So let's say this is how they resolve the problem. Okay, Genius Creatives, this is a beaded purse, little change purse with a flower on it. How do they resolve the issue of trying to practice the music. Kay says, united by their love of crafting. That's so good. And you're just doing this on the fly. So cool. Um, Miss Kitty locks the annoying bee into the purse. <gasps> they find a lucky coin. Magic purse helps cats sing in key. They take turns holding the, holding the purse when it's their turn to sing. Okay, so... You see, you know how to create a storyline. And, and what we do in the course is we develop further, really spend time making these characters rich 
and giving them backstory. And then we have a problem that we, we care about the character or characters. Then we have a problem resolution. That's the basic structure. And I, I will take you along the journey slowly. This is just day one. This is not the whole course. This is just a little, little snack to get you thinking. And a lot of people come to the course with their own story. Do you have your own story? But sometimes, and sometimes they stay with their own story. Sometimes they do a brand new story. It's fine. I'm good either way.